USA men's modified Muay Thai rules match and will be contested over three rounds of two minutes with a one minute rest period in between rounds. The trophy on the bout brought to you by Team Smandich Muay Thai, Century Casino, Ensign Energy Services, Global Steel, Sailor Capital, and JourneyFightSeries.com. In the blue corner, fighting out of Iron Pride Muay Thai in Calgary, trained by crew Darren Robson, weighing in at 155 pounds, making his ring debut. Please welcome to the ring, Chris Rockwell. Rockwell. Chris Rockwell, come to the ring. Here we go with our uh, third fight of the evening at Journey Fight Series 7. My name is Don Royd. And this is the Century Casino in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Muay Thai action under the roof here tonight. Chris Rockwell coming into the ring to take on a very special competitor in Jake Peacock. Rockwell making his debut. He's 24 years old. And we'll see what he's made of. And in the red corner from Calgary, training out of Dafichai Muay Thai in Calgary, trained by Francois Duval, weighing in at 155 pounds with a record of one win and no losses. Please welcome to the ring, Jake Peacock. Peacock. Well, and you can hear the crowd erupting here in Calgary for Jake Peacock. As you can see, he's uh, he's got about half of his uh, right arm is missing, just uh, just below the elbow. There, I think his his arm is is uh, missing. I don't know if that's something from birth or if uh, maybe a result of an accident. But uh, he's undefeated, believe it or not, at one and zero, uh, and he's also got a background in uh, combat karate, in uh, Koshunkin karate, so uh, big martial arts background for him. Now he's made the transition into Muay Thai and is doing quite well for himself. In fact, he took part in the Junior World Championships uh, in Kyushin karate. Ended up losing in the first round, but uh, I'll tell you what, this kid can go and he can hit and he can hit hard. Uh, with that right hand, so you know he's if if you've got an orthodox stance, you're kind of leading with that left hand, and then he's got that that right arm as well too. And uh, I have to see he's 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 got a lot of heart and he's got a lot of skill too. And I'll tell you what, this kid, you know, it, it may seem like he's got a disadvantage, but uh, when you come into a match, your mindset knowing that you've maybe got a disadvantage is going to make you fight twice as hard, I think. And uh, as you can see, there's he's got a lot of supporters here, a lot of fans in the audience, and that's got to give you a lot of motivation too. You don't want to lose uh, in front of your your friends and family and, and your fans. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this fight. That's for sure. The place erupted. <laughs> Well, that's good. It's good to see local fighters getting an opportunity and and having the opportunity to bring fans with them as well. Definitely a big part of our promotion here is yeah. trying to get the local guys. We Take a look at uh, both fighters here fight getting ready. The, the Again, this is an amateur fight. Uh, before we move into the second half of the card here, both men wearing headgear and shin guards. Later on, rebroadcast on the Fight Network. So. It's a good uh, exposure. Fewer rounds, shorter rounds, and uh, just a chance for these guys to get a little experience under their belt before they move up into the professional ranks. Nice been moving along pretty quick. First three fights going to the, the scorecards, so yeah. we'll see if this one goes that way. Journey Fight Series. 
Jake Peacock looking to first class Muay Thai action from Canada. And we're looks like we're ready to kick things off here. Chris Rockwell in the blue, Jake Peacock in the red. Here's the bell, and this one's underway. Peacock, nice push kick to the chest. Moves in with a nice left hand, and look at Peacock! All over Chris Rockwell in the corner. In Muay Thai, I don't know, he's really got to get in close if he's going to want to clinch. He can clinch with that left arm pretty good, but... he hits. I think he clinches more around the body with the right arm. Famous American fighter, Baxter Humby. Oh, wow. That left hand is really teeing off. Nice knee by Peacock on the inside. Nose of Rockwell leaking already early. Look at Rockwell. Oh, that kick was a little bit low that time by Peacock. Hits him with that right arm. Welcome to Muay Thai. Oh, wow, there is blood. We have got blood pouring out of the nose of Chris Rockwell. Tries to go for the sweep. Oh, wow. Look at Peacock. Just knocks him down. Jake Peacock all over Chris Rockwell. Kicks him in the face now. Look at Peacock lefts and rights. And another one. Rockwell going down hard. I think that one, that should have been an eight count, in my opinion. He hit him with that left hand and he went down. Peacock uh, slips there. That that apron might be a little bit slippery with that blood just pouring out of the nose. And now Peacock goes down. What an action-packed first round. Referee uh, going to have him clean up Rockwell a little bit. That nose is really pouring blood here. Listen to this crowd in Calgary. Solidly behind Jake Peacock in this one. Peacock grabs the leg and makes him pay. Nice low kick. Combinations. Peacock all over Rockwell. Rockwell doesn't know what to do. He's getting just caught up in a storm here. Well, you will see that used a lot from the... Rockwell... Kind of pawing out there with a low kick, not much commitment behind it. Oh, wow. I think uh, Peacock, with a little extracurricular activity there, caught him with a jab after the bell. Chris Wow. What an incredible first round between Jake Peacock and Chris Rockwell. And if you thought that uh, Jake Peacock was at any kind of a disadvantage, think again. This kid can fight. Take a look at some of this replay here. Rockwell, a little bit out of control there. Peacock makes him pay. I think he busted him with that right arm. One minute rest period, just about over here. I'll tell you what, I am pleasantly surprised by the skill of Jake Peacock. Couple young guys here, Jake Peacock. It's clear that this kid's put the time in in the gym and uh, and knows what he's doing inside that ring. Oh, another big right hand that time by Peacock. Peacock all over Rockwell's case once again here. I think that uh, Rockwell's best, the best thing he could do is try to use the clinch because I don't think Peacock can can properly clinch, or at least not in the traditional sense. He seems to be doing quite a good job here, though. Wow! Unloading on Rockwell. Yeah, that was nice. Left, right, left uppercut, right hook. Rockwell is in a whole heap of trouble here. He just he cannot figure out Jake Peacock at all. And we are already halfway through round number two here. And Peacock again lighting him up with left hands, lefts and rights. All over him. He has busted open that nose again. And that, oh, wow. He is just discombobulated. He doesn't know what to do at this point. He cannot figure out Jake Peacock at all. 
own blood, seeing blood, and breathing hard. Yeah. Not Trying to hard. throw some punches there, but there's not much behind it now at this point. He's lost a lot of blood. He, I think he's a little bit woozy. Oh, wow. Big head kick that time by Peacock. And Peacock is just teeing off here. His helmet's going down a little bit in his eyes, impeding his vision a little bit. Up against the ropes now. Referee's going to step in. Peacock just dominating the second round. Oh, wow, that nose is, oh, boy. He is a mess. I think referee might need to get that cleaned up here. He's going to let it go to the end of the round. Up against the ropes now. And that's it. Another great round for Jake Peacock. This crowd totally into it and totally behind Peacock here. He's 1-0. And uh, unless there's a miracle happens, I think he's going to be moving to 2-0 and remain undefeated. Chris Rockwell having a tough uh, debut here. Watch this. Boom. Big head kick. Left hand right in the mush. Peacock's just got to keep doing what he's been doing. Everything he's been doing has been working. And uh, Chris Rockwell has pretty much just been without any offense at all. Point he threw a, a really nice combo of a left hand, right hand, left hand, right uppercut. Yeah, I believe was the sequence, combo, yeah. and it was Might all of it landed point. pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, right yeah. Here we go. Third and final round is underway. Two minutes on the clock in this amateur contest between Jake Peacock in the red and Chris Rockwell in the blue. And look at Peacock. That's been the story of this whole fight. Tilt, there's a lot of power on it. You can see that Peacock, he doesn't seem to be gassed at all. This kid looks like he could go another three rounds. Chris Rockwell, on the other hand, looks like he's had enough. He's not about to throw in the towel, though. Look at the look at the eyes. Look at the focus and the determination in the eyes of Jake Peacock. Oh, nice hook to the body there. Peacock really mixing up his punches. He's got the. Uh, looks like Rockwell is doing a good job of uh, catching the leg now and taking down Peacock. Oh, that's one thing he's he's been able to do. But he just caught another left jab. Peacock now pushes him back to the ropes. Rockwell now with his back turned. Oh, did he? He just ate a left hook or a left uppercut there. Oh, wow. Peacock is just having his way. He could finish this thing if he wants to. Peacock needs another another big shot or two, and I think that Rockwell is going down. Oh, left hand! Rockwell's in trouble. He's on spaghetti legs. Look at Peacock. He knows he can finish it if he wants to. He's trying to... Oh, he's in trouble! Nice sweep again. Peacock! Oh. There's 10 seconds left. Can he finish it? Oh, don't come over here. <laughs> Peacock! He needs to try to finish this thing. Can he do it? Rockwell! He has no clue where he is. Good God, what a fight! And it's over! That was a great fight. Very entertaining fight. Third part of the night here. Unbelievable matchup. Jake Peacock just dominating this fight. And if this thing were to go another round, I don't think that Chris Rockwell would be able to last another two minutes in this fight. There's no way. Wow, what a third round by Peacock just pouring it on. Watch this shot. Boom, big uppercut. Wham, left hand. And that one just stunned him and almost knocked his headgear backwards that was just an incredible fight he's adapted all three rounds just dominated by Jake Peacock and if you think this kid was at a disadvantage I'll tell you what really nice young guy very respectful absolutely not just a, a, a wide range of techniques from Peacock Jabs, hooks, uppercuts, good leg work, body kicks, head kicks, knees, clinching. 
very well-rounded athlete is Jake Peacock, and he's ad obviously adapted very well from that karate background that he has into the sport of Muay Thai. And uh, Chris Rockwell, he didn't know what to do. Just completely lost in this fight was Chris Rockwell making his debut, the 24-year-old. And uh, I'll tell you what, give him credit. I mean, he hung right in there towards the end. A lesser man would have been down to the canvas uh, in that final round. Ladies and gentlemen, I just need you to put your hands together for that. The bout again brought to you by Team Smandich Muay Thai, Century Casino, Ensign Energy Services, Global Steel, Sather Capital, and JourneyFightSeries.com. And we have a winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Jake Peacock. Peacock. Great fight by Jake Peacock from beginning to end. Just complete dominance by him. And, uh, Fantastic job. He gets his medal, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a few words from the winner, see how he felt about the fight. Yeah, what, two fights? What, trade? That's the second fight. All right, Jake, don't leave too fast. you got to get a couple words from you it's okay. So he'll have a good handle on, or maybe not. on his technique. One more time, let's hear for Jake Peacock, ladies and gentlemen. So, Jake, let's see. You're taking what some would take as a disadvantage, and from what I can see today, I saw a strong use of ranged weapons. Long range legs, devastating left, and your right became like this hammer of an elbow that there was absolutely no defense for. Tell me how you train with regards to that, if there's something you do any differently with your coaches, etc. I don't know, you know, uh, I was born like it, so. I don't know any different, and I've been fighting since I was seven. Um, I've been a few places when I fought, so had a bit of experience, but I could then came to Elite, and uh, they just helped me adapt to this sport. It's been great, I've got some great coaches, great sparring partners, and they've helped me get this far. And uh, yeah, they know how to coach me with regards to my right arm, so thank you, Elite. Thank you, Francois. Anything you want to say? It seems like you got a legion of fans on this side. Yeah. Thanks, guys. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Jake Peacock. This is Don Royd for Fightbox. We'll see you right back here next time on Journey Fight Series. Until then, so long, everybody.